Welcome to the AutoCAD tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to set the units and limits in AutoCAD. I'm using AutoCAD 2020 for all the tutorials. So once you open AutoCAD, it shows like this. So I'm going to open a new project by clicking uh, the small icon or you can press Ctrl N to open a new project. Press open, click open. You will get a AutoCAD page like this. And uh, see, this is the drawing area. The black area is the drawing area. And uh, this is the property dialog box. And uh, on the top, you have uh, tools, templates, okay? I'll explain this when we go into the tutorial in depth. So now I'll explain how to set the units and limits. So to set the units and limits, first I'm gonna place my cursor in the command prompt here and you have to type units U N I T S. Press enter. You will get a dialog box. So in this dialog box, I am going to change the input unit. So whether the, you want to feed all the values in inches, you can select inches. Or if you want to draw the drawing in feet, you can set in feet, uh, centimeter, meter. See so whatever the unit which you are going to draw, you can set that unit. So I am going to set feet. Then I'm going to click OK. So now I have set unit. Now I need to set the limits. So again for that, you can place the cursor in the command prompt and you can type limits or simply you can type limits. No need to, all the time, no need to place the cursor in the command prompt. Now wherever your cursor is, you can simply type. So it shows that uh, command in the command prompt see l i m i t s limits so once you type limits press enter now you you have some command in the command prompt specify lower left corner asks you to specify the lower left corner so the, if this is my drawing area i need to specify my lower left corner see initially the lower left corner is 0, 0, x, y is 0, 0. If you want to keep that, then you can simply press enter. No need to type again 0, 0. Or if you want to change that lower left corner to, to the other point like 100, 100 or 50, 100, then you have to type it. So as of now, I don't want to change the lower left corner. I am going to keep the same 0, 0 as my lower left corner window. So simply I will press enter. So again it takes lower left corner as 0, 0. That is the meaning. Like specify upper right corner. Previously upper right corner is 12, 9. Again if I want to keep the same I can press enter. So again it sets the upper right corner, this corner as 12, 9. Or if I want to change because I am going to draw the drawing in feet. So this 12 comma 9 is not sufficient so I am going to set 1400 comma 1000. So I am going to press enter. See once you press enter now it takes the upper right corner as the value which you have feed now. See to adapt that limits in the drawing now you have to type Z. So Z means zoom. Z, enter, A, A for all. So what you have done is you have regenerated model. So this regenerated model has adapted your new units and limits. So to regenerate the model, you need to press zoom on. Z, enter, A, enter. So that's it. Now your drawing has set the new units and the new limits. 
if you want to check whether your drawing has adapted the new limits or not then you type in the command prompt as a limits enter it asks lower left corner see we have set 0 comma 0 so it is there still as a 0 comma 0 if you want to change you can type again or if you want to keep the 0 comma 0 as default you can just press enter so it asks now specify the upper right corner so in the bracket whatever we have specified before it is there so the autocad has took this value as the upper right corner so that means the autocad has regenerated and and it has set the new limits and units if you don't want to change or if you want to quit from the current command so you can press escape so that's it so in this video we have learned how to set the units and limits in autocad thank you for watching please stay tuned to this channel don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends